Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we're taking a look at a FlowFlex COVID-19 antigen home test. Now there are a few out here. This is one of the ones I was able to find. Um, it is very hard to find these right now and um, the prices are going up. You can do kind of like walk through, uh, walk up tests in New York City, but the lines are extremely long and it really depends on how long it takes for you to get results. But I just wanted to look through this with you and do the test on camera so we could see how everything works just in case you do have this and you have any questions about doing this yourself because this is something that you would buy and take home with you and do everything kind of on your desktop as we're going to be doing here and sorry about filming portrait this is the only way i was able to get kind of you know the space to do this here on the table with also me because we'll be doing the nasal swabs here and i just want to make sure that everything is seen in the right light. But the first thing I want to do is, here, take a look and read the sides. Pause if you'd like. Just go around all the sides here, including the front. Again, this is, again, this is FlowFlex. But one thing that I really want to make clear here, and this is the way that most of the tests out there are marked. This product has not been FDA cleared or approved, but has been authorized by FDA under an emergency use authorization. This product has been authorized only for the detection of proteins from SARS-CoV-2, not for any other viruses or pathogens. The emergency use of this product is only authorized for the duration of the declaration that circumstances exist justifying the authorization of the emergency use in vitro diagnostics for the de detection and or diagnosis of COVID-19 under Section 564B-1, the Federal Food, comma, Drug and Cosmetic Act, comma, 21 USC, some a lot of a lot of numbers here unless the declaration is terminated or authorization is revoked sooner so that is why these are available right now uh, but let's open these up because everything everything should be here that we need to kind of begin and use this tests now i hope it focuses on me or sorry on the test and not me because that's this is what's more important all right so the first thing you do get inside here is you get instructions in Spanish and you get instructions in English. Today we'll be looking at the English instructions here. And then this is full of some liquid here, which you'll be using to dip your, after you shove that Q-tip up your nose. And this will be the determinant of if you do have or you don't have uh, CoV-2, SARS-CoV-2. Here is the sterile nasal swab. This is the kind of like pregnancy looking COVID test. It's all here sealed. And this is the certificate of quality. And if you want to take a look here, I think this is pretty important right here. So don't throw away the box because this is actually one of the things that you will need. Um, according to the instructions. Just want to make sure before you throw anything away. This fits right here. And this will sit here because you're going to be using both your hands to get all this test ready. And then you just want to place it in here immediately. But let's, let's go through the instructions that we have here just so we do this properly. Because again, sorry again, these are hard to find and I want to make sure that we do this correct. So let's hold this out properly. I'm going to, if you want, pause this video and look at the instructions at the best that you can. Again, this, this video is for information use. This is why I'm making this. Um, at this time, I do not believe that I have contracted COVID of any variant. But because I live in New York City, there is a chance. There's always going to be a chance. Um, but also, 
this is going to be saving me and other people as well, just in case I have contracted it, then I'll be easily be able to determine by myself and take the proper steps. So I just want to make sure that everything is here in view. Um, the instructions will pro be pro probably be out of view here, but this is what makes sense. So um, as you're focusing on everything, this is what's going to be relevant here. All right, so first preparation, or the kit contents, the test cassette, the extraction buffer tube, the disposable nasal swab, the tube holder for only 25 test quantity. Oh, that's literally this. That's the little hole. That's the tube holder. Package insert, insert that we're doing here, and timer not included. I did not know we need a timer. I will be able to run the timer here. I have that right. Yeah, we'll do the timer here. Preparation. Step one, wash or sanitize your hands. Make sure they are dry before starting the test. That's what I did before I began any of this. I washed my hands a lot. Read the instructions as we are doing so here. Check the kit contents and make sure you have everything. These are sealed with little plastic tape, which I did break here, but they are sealed. Check the expiration date printed on the cassette foil pouch. Do not use if pouch is damaged or open. And let's see. This one is good until, so it was produced on October 22nd, 2001, and it is good until October 21st, 2022. So these do have a shelf life of a year. Um, I, let's see, I got this on the 19th of December, so I got this a little bit too, about two months after this was made. And, um, Give yourself about maybe like, because you don't know what the expiration is until you get and crack this open. You should have one on the outside, honestly, they should. Um, yeah, just be mindful that most of these, because they're all being created around the same time, will probably expire um, in about a year. I'm not sure why I'm getting texts when I put this on Do Not Disturb. Anyway, let's continue back with this. Um, open the pouch and locate the result window sample and well on the cassette. So it says I can open this up now. So I'm gonna try my best. This is what it looks like here. And let's see. So the result window is gonna be the top window here. The Sample well is going to be this right here. So self-collection, I'll be just jamming the nasal swab right over here. Uh, collection by an adult, I just actually, this is pretty important. That's what you need to see if you are an adult, so you just kind of apply like that. A nasal swab sample can be collected by an individual age 14 years and older. Children age 2 to 3 years should be tested by an adult. So the test procedure. Remove the foil from the top of the extraction buffer tube. Punch, the perforate, punch through the perforated circle on the kit box to form a tube holder, which we have done here. Place the tube in the tube kit holder for 25 test quantity kit box. Uh, the tube holder is provided. This is a single test, by the way, so we don't have that additional piece. Open the swab packaging at the stick end, not the swab end. So he here. And you can see it's easy to see that this kind of opens up. Do not touch the swab head. Make sure not to touch this part. Gently insert the entire absorbent tip of the swab head into one nostril, a half inch to three fourths of an inch. With children, the maximum depth of insertion into the nostril may be less than three fourths of an inch. And you may need to have a second person to hold the child's head while swabbing. Note, a false, negative result, a false negative result may occur if the nasal swab specimen is not properly detected. That means if it is not deep enough. Firmly rub the swab in a circular motion around the inside wall of the nostril five times. So just gonna, just gonna be going like this over and over and over. Take approximately 15 seconds to collect the specimen. 15 seconds. Be sure to collect any nasal drainage that may be present onto the swab. Repeat this 
in the other nostril. Okay, so 5 for 15, 5 for 15. Remove the swab from the nostril and immediately place into the extraction buffer tube. Note test samples immediately after collection. Oh, test the samples immediately after collection and no more than one hour after the swab is added to the re regent solution if stored at room temperature. Seven, immediately place the swab in the tube and swirl for 30 seconds. So even with this cap open, you swirl. Rotate the swab five times while squeezing the tube. I just want to make sure. So rotate it while squeezing. Rotate while squeezing this here. Note, a false negative result may occur if the swab is not rotated five times. So like this. Nine, remove the swab while squeezing the tube. Squeeze, remove, dispose of the swab in the trash. Attach the dropper firm tip firmly onto the tube. Mix thoroughly by swirling or flicking the bottom of the tube. So you top, attach this and you kind of shake and flick just to get that there. And then how, we, how do we do this? Oh, this is like kind of a stopper here too. So gently squeeze the tube and dispense four drops of the solution onto the sample well. Dispose the, of the tube in the trash. Note a, sm a false negative or invalid result may occur if less than four drops of fluid are added into the sample well. And then you set the timer for 15 minutes. Results should be read at 15 minutes. Do not read after 30 minutes. Dispose of the test cassette in the trash. Note a false negative or false positive result may occur if the test result is read before 15 minutes or after 30 minutes. And here is more information on letting you know if you have a proper result. That's how to interpret the test. That is negative, this one is positive, and this one is invalid. All right, so we are gonna do our best to get this all ready. All right, we're gonna open this up as we have been instructed to do. Set this here, going to be opening this up. Only touching this here. We're gonna start with the right nostril. I'm not a fan of this, but all right, let's go. So we're gonna do this five times for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, oh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 30 seconds here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now we will rotate while pinching one, 
two, three, four, five. All right, we've done this here. Now, while pinching to get all the junk off there, we put this in our little trash. We attach the dropper here, and we're going to gently squirt four onto here. One, two, three, four. So we have four here. Set an alarm for 15 minutes from now. Your alarm is set for 9.32 p.m. All right, this goes into our proverbial trash can. We've done everything that we can do right now. Now we wait for 15 minutes. So it has not been 15 minutes yet. We still have about well, 13 minutes to go, but I just wanted to make sure that we go through reading these test results because um, you may have paused and like screenshotted this, but we are already beginning to see some sort of reaction here. And for me, it's positive, which wait, no, I mean, it's a good result. It's not positive. Um, so the result interpretation negative would have now, I don't know if you can see this right here because I do not want to move this whatsoever. The top portion is the control. The bottom portion here is a test line. It is negative if you only see a solid kind of pink or red by the control line. It is a positive if you see the control line and also see this test line as a solid or faint um, pink. So if they're both kind of solid red, solid pink, that is going to be a positive. And you have, um, well, as according to the test, you have a co you are COVID-19 positive. If it is only con the control and no test line at all, then that means you are COVID-19 negative according to this test. Now it is invalid if only the test line is showing up here or if nothing shows up. So while why I wanted to begin this a little bit early is because you can see here the test line never activated, has not activated yet. So it is not an invalid test because we did get the control and we just didn't get anything for um, the, what's the team? <laughs> what's the teaming again? Test line. Uh, test line hasn't shown anything up, so it is not an invalid test at the very least. Um, but this here, so far, looks to be a negative test, but we do have 11 minutes to go. Just wanted to make sure this you were kind of caught up on everything here, so we'll be back here in about 11 minutes. I forgot how to stop this camera. All right, so the 15 minutes just completed here. 15 minutes, right? Yeah. And yeah, we are negative. I am negative here. So let me just show you a close up of the test. Um, you'll even see a nose hair in the sample collection here. So that's the test itself. So you can see the top portion there. It has that nice rich pink red line and that would be the control. And then the actual I get this there. The actual test line is completely blank. It's not any part of, um, you know, it's not faded pink or anything. And I just want to make sure here. Yep, it's a complete 100% um, negative on me. And yeah, that's all it is. So this is a rapid test. This is something you could take at home. If you need somebody to collect for you, you can do it. But if you're 14 and older, you can do this by yourself. This is just a, a very simple way, as long as all of this is correct and what they're using to kind of, you know, get a positive or negative is correct. It seems to be a very simple process here. So again, everything you need is inside this one box. It looks like they do have kits of 25 tests or more in a single one. And maybe that's used for more businesses, but this is one of the personal use ones and yeah, this is really simple to do. Now everything I will put inside i don't even notice it came with one of these it's one of these like um anti perspiration like anti-humidity pieces that goes inside here everything goes inside 
where I'm going to dispose of this properly. And this was pretty straightforward. I'm glad that the, pa the instructions were paper. You have an instruction video as we just did here if you want to screenshot that. That's a QR code. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's straightforward. I think it's simple. Guys, if you have any questions about this, um, let me know. This has been the FlowFlex COVID-19 antigen at home, antigen home test. And I would consider this rapid because the test itself takes 15 minutes and the process before under five minutes. So in under 20 minutes, you get all the information that you need. Should I frame this? No, I need to throw this away too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything um, in this case came back fine. But as you know, if you have a positive for any reason, there are more steps for you to take. But this has been one by Flowflex. Um, this is not sponsored. They did not pay anything for this. I just found this and thought this would be a great video topic to make right now. So thank you guys. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, be safe, and I hope you can find one of these, and I will see you next time.